Well, okay. I guess I was totally unprepared for that. Everything just got <laughs> louder. But hello, hey. Friday night. What's going on? How you doing? Well. Dave Summers said, what the bloody hell is going on in here then? Rocking the house, bitch. What's your problem? Well, and, we're uh, doing what it is we do. Bunghole is, uh, is, Bunghole's in the chat room. Do you have Shannon sleeping? All right, so I'm just totally lost over here now. God damn, I and screwed everything up. Mr. John Chico Chico is in the chat room as well. Um, okay, so, let's see. Oh, there's Cindy, look, Cindy Kendall's here. Cheryl's I, here. I um, guess I'll just shut up until I get my shit together I know, here. you're all a I'm still there. not sure where I'm at and what I'm doing over Joseph here. Joseph Graham's in the chat room as well. Do you need Joseph Graham to call in and kill some of this dead air that you're creating? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Joe's more than welcome to call in any time Joe wants, and Joe knows that. <laughs> Joe doesn't it, have to ask every time. Getting him to call in and talk isn't the problem. It's shutting him up. <laughs> Pretend you're on Facebook. Just start yakking like everybody else does. They don't care. Say hey, what look, you want. Look, look, look who's in the chat room. <whistles> oh, Mrs. her governess. Dave, her governess. I missed Mrs. Dave this week. I don't know why. I should have sent her a message this week just you to You should have. You totally ignore the woman. I do not she ignore her. She loves you. Instead of wasn't for Dave, she'd marry you, and you don't need you ignore I know. She's, she's like the third person in our marriage, isn't she? Oh, no, no. The fourth, because Brad James is the third. You know, because Randy loves Brad James. Oh, that's my boy so, right there. Yeah, now. that's your boy. <laughs> Hello, Brad. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Dave <laughs> is the fourth person in our marriage. You're not, you're not very high up on the list, though, Mrs. Dave, being fourth. <laughs> that's low on the list. But uh, I know how you feel, I'm the fourth wife. <laughs> Depends on how you look at the list. Well, it's been a marvelous day. Got a red light ticket in the mail today. You gotta love that. Little bastards. Oh yeah, I want to see the picture. What the hell did they do with that? Lose a fucking thing already? Where'd it go? Well, that's, that's all one I way need to, to get do rid of it. That. Where is it? Is this it? Oh, this is it. Traffic infraction document. How nice is that? Fucking red light cameras. What a joke, too. I think I remember the intersection, too. And I got one two, three years ago, right? 75 bucks out of your hair. You don't hear a word, nothing, no points, no nothing, no nothing. Just send us the money and we're happy. Uh, they got pictures of... Yeah, you know, I wanted to have a look at that. They, they got pictures of the truck as you go through the red light. And uh, I have to study these some more because I got to look up a law that I seem to think... Mm -hmm. Now, see, you can't even see that. I can see it's red. But see where I'm at? Just hitting the intersection. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Now, if that's 380 and like I think that is. Yeah, I'll give it here in a second. See, the second picture shows me already almost through the intersection. Why the fuck is there two pictures? Obviously, you know, I mean, what the hell is that? But I got to look up this law. Now, this is now in New York State, this is a law. I don't know if it's a national law or if it's just a state law. But you can enter... The intersection on yellow and exit on red. So I'm I'm gonna look that up if I can find that, and that's a that's a a, a national traffic law. I might go to court and uh, and say, hey, uh, dude, I know you know. Look at this. This law says you can enter on exit enter on yellow and exit on red. And if that's the case, look where I'm positioned when that light turned red. If that's 380 and the speed limit is 60 through there, do you think it's possible when that light turned yellow, I could have stopped? Which means I have to look up and see how long, or I have to call them or somebody and find out how long the light stays yellow before I even have a chance, because if the light was yellow for like six seconds, I probably had time to stop. If the light's only yellow for like three seconds, 3.2 seconds, or whatever the hell they do with that, because they make them all weird numbers. They don't make them even digits. Um, if it's a very short, short time, and at 60 miles an hour, and you stop so many feet in 60 miles an hour, then, you know, I might have a chance. So I'm going to look that up and see what the hell I can find you out. You just wanted the Yankee and the Brit sticker on the side of your truck on camera. You just wanted to be famous. Well, got to advertise somehow the cheapest way possible, <laughs> I <know>. right? <laughs> I know. It's about the best I can do. You know, some bloke today says that uh, he was, he says, don't worry, I'll be gone in a minute. And we, and we were thinking, what is he talking about? And uh, he says, he, he in the end, after chatting with Randy, he says he saw the Brit sticker on the side of the truck. Ooh. Didn't he? Oh, the guy in the Jeep? Yeah, what was he talking about? He says he saw the Brit sticker on the side of the truck. I don't know, he was trying to make a joke. I didn't find him all that funny, but... No. 
Yeah, I thought well, the the guy was the guy was pouring additive in his fuel tank, and he just stopped at the service bay there and got some. So I we backed him beside him to park, and I just made a joke about, "Hey man, you need a light." Well, he didn't get it, of course. But then I explained it to him, and he's like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny." <laughs> so then it went on, and he tried to be funny, and the funniness was already gone. Look who is in the chat room. Mr. Taz is hey, in Eric. the chat. Boogity boogity shoe. Boogity boogity. Still walking on cr- broken eggshells, I see. Got to break some eggs to make an omelet. That's what they say. That's right. We'll walk carefully. Let's see here. I guess we need to do some rocking and rolling. That's what we're here for. Um, we got to get rid of this. I'm way out of line here. I know. Holy shit. All kinds of shit here. Well, I'm not even sure what to play, so... Uh, Why don't you come in your pants? That'll wake you up a bit. You know I like that song. I know you do. I wasn't going to play it it's right away, because you... probably everybody else gets sick of hearing it. Not <laughs> like only, I really care. because you relate to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. What the hell do I do with it now? There it is. Um, that's my favorite tune. What can I say? You know? Live from Bells, Texas. It's a rock and roll Friday night. Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. I see Bruce Banner's here. What's going on there, Mr. Hulk, sir? John Chico, baby. Yes, sir. We'll do that, Master of Puppets. You can count on it. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. How is everybody on a Friday night, man? We're over here. We are rocking the house. I see the trucks are shaking, and uh, you know what they say. If that truck's rocking, don't come knocking. I think Kevin's doing the rocking, man. That was funny, dude. I got to tell you. <laughs> come on my pants right now. Sleep for a week. Oh, yeah. That's, I'm about for two weeks now. <laughs> Oh, too much. Uh, okay, Mr. Dave. That's all right. We'll party without you, man. Carry on. Uh, anyways, what plane? Where's your plane flying to? Yeah, I'd be like, what are you talking about? What plane? In his picture. Is that an airplane or is that oh, an Oh, yeah. It looks like a fighter jet. Not uh, the clearest picture. F-15? I can't tell. What is that, John? Look at Bruce having a drink of his Hulk medicine. Oh, oh is he having a spot of tea? Maybe the Hulk having a spot of tea, I would suppose. Anyways. Uh, oh, he's having a can of Coke. A can of cake. can of Coke. Oh, Coke. How do you know it's not soda or pop? Oh, <laughs> idiot. Just depends <laughs> on where you come from, that's all. Truck is broken, waiting for the hook. Ah, seriously? That kind of sucks. Where are you at? You're stuck somewhere out in the middle of nowhere? See, John says, what plane? And he still hasn't answered yet. <laughs> You'd sit here and talk for 20 minutes before you get an answer from anybody. You guys even listening? Hello? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I watch that video? No, we never. You know where? No. I, was, was you said you were going to the... redo it and make it clearer, and i never seen another no, one. No, not that one. I think maybe the one where he says, uh, come take a ride with me. You know, we... Uh, then I didn't see it. I didn't even hear of it. You know, we was having problems with that Facebook chat, and then I never got the second link either, so... Um, but seeing as it's been working today, we probably can't go back and watch it in a bit or something. F-14. His dad built them. All by himself? Man, that must have been quite a job. How did he make them fast enough to support the contract with the, the Air Force? Hey, look who's in the well, look chat. at that. It's Mr. Sammo. Our very own Sammo. Hello, RTM hello. Radio Network's very own voice of RTM Radio. And I'm talking shit now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I know. We're just doing a shit show tonight, aren't we? Oh... Pump foobar, boy. Even Dave's deserted us. So it must be bad if Dave's deserted us. Who deserted us? Dave. I just read what Dave said. Exactly. Do you hear anything that goes on over here? I'm just saying. What, you just now catching up? Is that your problem? No, I was just saying it must be a bad show if Dave's deserted us. Why weren't you talking about it when I was talking about it instead of ten minutes later? Oh my god. There's a plane down in the Hudson near 79th Street. You mean just now? Like, just, like, crashed? Wow. samuel has got all the grandkids this week. Wow. For a week? Yay! Well, lucky you. I've never met my granddaughters. Neither one of them. But that's another story. Let's not even go there. Let's see, then. Uh, 
Hmm. What do you say? Oh, uh, all right. So, I guess we'll go back to jamming. It's like talking to the wall over here, pulling teeth and all that crap. Anyways, John wants to hear Master of Puppets from Metallica, so guess what? That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Yankee and the Brit in the RTM Radio Network. Yes, John was right. A plane uh, did go down in the Hudson River. Uh, let's see. A small plane went down this evening on the Hudson River. Uh, let's see. The Coast Guard confirmed the plane went down in the river reportedly on the West New York, New Jersey side across from the 79th Street Boat Basin. Uh, the Federal Aviation Administration relieved, re- received a report that a World War II vintage P-47 Thunderbolt aircraft may have gone down in the Hudson River, two miles south of the George Washington Bridge. It was not immediately learned how many people were on board. Um, it could only be one or two max. So really doesn't take a brain to figure that one out. But wow, perfectly good old uh, cool uh, plane crashed. Now, the plane was left completely submerged in the river. Search and rescue teams were called to the scene and were conducting a massive search for the plane as of 8.15. Where it stands at the moment, I don't know, but there you go. Thanks, John, for filling us in on that. Uh, what a shame. Cool old bird like that and down she goes. You're a cool old bird yourself, you know that? I am a cool old bird. I know you are. <laughs> you alright over there? Oh, you know, you know when you've been like hyper all day and then you kind of just go downhill in the last half hour? Yeah, I know. I know, Samo. That's uh, that's why I have it. Oh, I also have a Sohio one from back in the days. I can't find it right now, but I have one from... Uh, maybe that's the one. I don't know. I had one that Sohio did. Uh, they used to play it all over Cleveland markets uh, when the weather, when, uh, you know, there was blizzards and cold weather and stuff. And it might be the same one now that you mention that, but I'm going to have to check now. Now I'm curious. But I like those cool old ones, man. They got your attention. And they just got that little spark to them. What's up, Lee Godfrey? How the hell are you, man? JP's in here somewhere. I saw that. Uh, I saw that, Sam. Oh, your post for uh, Fred. I saw the redo one there. I'm pretty sure that was the one I saw. So thanks. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. I'm really out of whack here tonight. Uh, Let's see. Can we kick his ass if you don't, Randy? (laughs) Leanne, you can whoop on his ass anytime you You want. You know you want to. Feel free, baby. Give it a big kick. Get your wellies on and give him a good boot. See, like Joe says, and we know this about you, Joe, I'm always strung tighter than an eight-day clock after I miss a week. (laughs) So you think you're all stressed out. (laughs) We know how you are. You can't hide that from us. Can you believe Lee calls me Mrs. Yankimoff? <laughs> Mrs. what? Lee. He calls me Mrs. Yankimoff. How's it hanging? Still a banging. So far, anyways. Mrs. Yankimoff. <laughs> that should be the president's wife as soon as we get our. Maybe that's uh, Putin's wife's name. Mrs. Putimoff. Putting him off. <laughs> All right, I'm funny in my own legend. I'm oh, funny in my own time. In your own mind only. Oh, I guess. All right, let's see now. What the hell was I doing? Somebody had a request. Oh, Lee did. All right, we'll work on that. In the meantime, let's get over here and uh, let's do some docking. How's that sound? <laughs> Black Sabbath. Yankee to Britain, the RTM Radio Network 755. I see you guys talking about Hair Nation and uh, some of that classic rock and stuff. I think maybe next Friday we'll do an all metal kind of kind of jam session. Just warning you guys that don't want to hear that stuff. Uh, I think that's maybe what we'll do if I can remember. I may not be able to remember it past tonight, but uh, we could do a metal show. That would be pretty good. Nothing but screaming, slamming, jamming, whamming, and bamming I'm rock and roll, though. baby. We're going to set up a theme night and everybody will and ask for everything else but... <laughs> it ain't a theme night. It's just freaking rock and fucking roll and that's it. That's what it takes. And uh, there's plenty of other places that don't play it. So uh, next Friday, let's keep that in mind. You guys come in and uh, I'll have a whole list of good stuff here. Shouldn't be a problem. I got rid of Sirius a long time ago, man. They fell apart when... Uh, or I had XM, I'm sorry. And uh, when Sirius bought them over, I dumped the whole gig. Didn't like it. Didn't like the way it went. They ruined everything on XM that I liked. 
So I just and I can't see paying for radio when there's so much free stuff out there. So why even bother? But that's just me. Um, and the radio in this truck sucks. So there's no sense in paying for something that you, uh, you know, you can't enjoy. But we make our own stuff, take our own. We mostly listen to our own shows, pretty much, is what we listen to. Not that we're, uh, like, proud of ourselves or anything, but uh, I just can't see uh, spending money on that kind of thing. I'm just a tight old wad, that's all. You're a tight old twat. I'm a tight old cock. <laughs> Does anybody in Britain say that? You tight old cock. Mm-hmm. Uh, caught you with your mouth full, didn't I? What are you eating over there, chocolate chip muffins? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Those things are friggin' awesome. I got some banana bread once. Boy, do they kick ass. Yeah, Lee won't let me forget. I'm sure that's for sure. Yeah, the price is right. I understand, Sam. Oh, man. If it's free, hell yeah, I'd jam it too. Absolutely, positively. No doubt about it. All right, moving along here, man. Let's uh, get on with the request. Come join the Hillbilly Express this Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be interviewing Bendix brake systems, as well as having Indiana State Trooper Brent Hoover from Vehicle Enforcement with us. Uh, we're going to talk all about brakes, logbooks, foreman manner, anything and everything that would affect you in a DOT inspection. Make sure you're here for this. This is going to be one show you don't want to miss. Okay, it's Friday night. You can pull up youporn.com, but you'll have satisfaction in about three minutes. If you're lucky. As soon as you're done with that, tune in to the Yankee and the Brit Show with Randy and Donna on RTM Radio Network. Seven Mary Three, by request. I am cumbersome. I'm the big pain in your ass, baby. Metallica, Orion, Yankee and the Brit on a Friday night, man. We're just it's over here big. doing our Friday gig. Don't forget, tomorrow night, Saturday night, is country night. Come on over with your boots on. We throw the sawdust on the floor. The taps flow like water, and everybody has a good time booting and, and scooting around Sunday the Sunday night, we have the Lido Lounge, where Dave Summers will be calling in with not very much interesting information, I'm sure. No, do we have to have him call? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm only serious. He's not here to defend himself. So I know. I won't say That's too why much. we thought we'll just pick on and, him for a few uh, minutes. Of course, back next Wednesday, Joe's here with the Hillbilly Express. Joe and Leanne have a guest coming on talking about Bendix, brakes, and shoes, and adjusting, and all the good stuff that goes along with that. Uh, catch them Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, right here on the RTM Radio Network. Thursday, Kevin Cornhole Young and his beautiful Leo. wife Shannon oh, come in on Thursday with the Trucking Roundup. Uh, last week sounded like a hell of a good show, man. They was really uh, kicking some ass talking about the rally going on down in Florida. So uh, tune in Thursday for that, man. Uh, always good stuff coming out of those guys. Other than that, uh, we are here to rock. That's what we do, well, and we, we will say rock. say hello to Mark in the chat room. Hello, Mark Sager. What's hey. going on, mister? Nice to see you. First time uh, first time caller, first time listener. And Deborah is in the chat room. Hi, Deborah. What's going on with hey. you? Nice to see you here again. Hey, Bruce is still here. Yeah, and Cheryl's back in. She's all got she's all prettied up with pretty nails and things. Cheryl's all pretty with nothing in her mouth. <laughs> nah, then. You know she likes to have something in her mouth. Come on. <laughs> Samo says he's a great corn holder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to find out, I can tell you that. Samo needs a toilet trip. Oh, that's right. Next Thursday, it's a girls' night out. It's ladies' night on the Truck and Roundup. So, uh, probably most of you guys, if you're smart, you'll give your wife the radio and go find yourself something to do. If I'm smart, I'll run 50 miles as well. Girly <laughs> nights? Uh-uh, I don't do them. I know Donna is so <laughs> not girly. So not girly. No way. <laughs> that's all right. I'll come in and listen. If you guys are wearing short skirts and go-go boots, I'll be there. Yes. The only way you'll get me to go to anything's got to do with women. My years with the women are done. They're over. I got one now. That's plenty. Don't need any more. Had enough. Tough work dealing with this one. Ah, uh, you love me, baby. But I love her anyways. So, there you go. Lee's still here. Hey, Lee, you asked for some Queensryche, and I didn't have the tune you wanted, but I got Jet City Woman, so we're going to throw a that puppy holder. on the turntable here. <laughs> huh? Mark said, what is a corn holder, for Christ's sakes? <laughs> <laughs> a corn holder is what I said. <laughs> and Kevin goes by Cornholio on the Truck and Roundup show. Well, by you, I call him Bungholio. <laughs> well, <laughs> I got all kinds of names for him. 
But that's a whole other story. So anyway, guys, they're Say pets. whatever you want us to wear in your mind. Ah, I know that's what's great about radio. I can dress you guys any way I want, and you'll never have a clue. And probably about a million other guys do the same thing. Donna and I were looking at a page with some of the most gorgeous weather women, remember? <laughs> what a bunch of snot rag little rats. And some of them really need to eat some hamburgers, too, and pizza and anything with fat in it because they're way too skinny for me. Anything like a freeway queen. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Bubba Booey kind of stuff going on there, I guess. But what do I know about that? Ask him. He'll tell you. Call him in. Call the show. Uh, probably not this Thursday, but the Thursday after. Call Kevin and ask him about that. Ask him if he's a freeway queen. I'd like to know myself. See what his answer is. He's always got something sly to say. Anyways, moving along over here. Queen's right. Def Leppard coming up. Papa Roach in the last resort. In the meantime, by request. Lee ain't got no panties on. Who ain't got no panties on? Lee ain't. Lee ain't? Yeah, Lee says, what am I wearing, Randy? I says, Lee ain't got no panties on. What are you wearing? Uh, you wearing your freeway best, I would guess? I don't know. I think I think Lee Godfrey's wearing no panties and a bright pink tutu. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. And his little pink, pink pretty ballet slippers. You can't even say it. I know. Oh, all right then. Let's move along over here. Let's jam Queensryche, Jet City Woman. Taking you back to the realms and depths of time. Thank Funk for that. More music, less bullshit. Continuous jamming. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Cut the crap. Play the music. Play the music. RTM Radio. RTM Radio. Samo, who is the guy in that spot, man? You remember his name? I can't remember what his name is. Papa Roach, Last Resort. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, 828. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, Norway, land of the midnight Educating sun. Educating me. I did not know that they had sunshine. Yeah, Alaska has night. sun 24 hours, and then anything like, you know, uh, south of the North Pole or just north of the South Pole, those areas, they all have uh, sun. Uh, what the hell is it? Where is it? Hawaii maybe has, no, not Hawaii. Who has it? Has six months of day and six months of night alaska too i think yeah alaska yeah somewhere close to the north pole those areas all have that same thing it's just because of where the sun's positioned at that time of year and uh you know so it like it never sets so to speak you keep rocking it out i'll be deaf by 10 <laughs> let's see how much time I'm have i got left to figure already. this out <laughs> and then nobbed over here wants to put on a bloody metal show next week i'll be uh, like headset hanging up on the cupboard as far away as possible i got i got an hour and a half left to bust his drums <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to crank it up a little bit oh please uh, give me some decent rock please. see see silgy says she's used to it i'm not even gonna try to say your name right anymore so i'm calling you well, silgy she can't hear us anyway why not? She, has, she has no sound tonight, so... Uh, oh, she's just chatting? She's in the chat room, yeah. Oh, we'll tell her So we can call hi. her what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Did you understand anything I just said? Probably <laughs> not. Hinder coming up. Guys got some requests, man. Don't be afraid to ask. Otherwise, I'm going back oh, to playing listen, whatever listen, I loaded up. She just sent, she what, just what, sent what, us what? a picture. This is 3.30 in the morning <laughs> in Norway. Yeah, I don't know how you could do that, man. That's. Uh, I mean, like she said doesn't bother she's used to it she was you know born and raised there it's part of her life but could you imagine leaving our time and going there and every time you get up it's still light out wow that's crazy <sighs> if it's too loud you're too old well lee i don't crank it up as loud as i used to but i don't consider myself that old yet i still like it to crank a little bit but i just like i just like classic rock you know uh, i'm not into all that heavy stuff but the older i get the more i have to crank it up so i can hear this shit <laughs> yeah <So. laughs> there's a couple different ways to look at that oh and when Randy, when i say something randy will say what did you say what, what? Was it I, what was it i said today and you were getting out the truck and i says oh it's all right go and do what you gotta do and uh, he was like no i want to know what you said and i had to say this word about 20 times it was the way you were saying the word same with that <laughs> one when we were tell him the same with the one in the kitchen when we were standing in there and you said something and i remember i was getting making dinner 
And I kept looking at it. I said, because you were talking about the hair. The, I know, you thought you were going to get What do you call that? Daz. Dax wax. Dax wax. Dax wax. I know, and he says, he says, you want me to butt fuck you? And I said, no. I never Dax said nothing wax. of this sort. You <laughs> friggin' whore, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dax wax. It's the way, you better not snort. <laughs> I, was tell, I was telling Randy and Randy's friend It's the way she said Dax, you know. It just didn't my, make any sense. About how an ex-boyfriend of mine, Lee, used to wear Dax wax in his hair and go to raves, and his hair would still be rock hard a week later. I never heard of such a thing, you know, over here. I've never heard of Dax, so uh, how in the hell would I know what it is? And she looks at me like I'm some kind of retard. It's like, don't bring your funny language over here, and then I'm supposed to understand what you're saying. It's not going to happen, you know? Look! What is it? Nicholas wants to hear some cherry pie, so we got that loaded up now. Look, look, look. What is it there, then? Dax wax. Dax wax and groom. Look at that. Isn't that something? Wow, it comes in a can like car wax. I ain't putting that shit on my hair. <laughs> Look, there's a green one. It looks like turtle wax. Look at go down a little bit more. Look at that. See when I say see when I say uh, when you say go down a little bit more, I'm supposed to pull that down, but you mean pull it up. You're scrolling the page down. Pull the page down. No, you're scrolling the mouse down. The page is going up. I'm scrolling when I down. say I pull it down, I mean my I draws, my zipper, doing. and bite this. I'm scrolling down. God, when you scroll, you scroll up or down. I don't know what you're talking about. See, you're scrolling up right now. I'm not I'm scrolling You tell me down. that's not up. That's not the I'm top of the screen. I'm scrolling my scroller down. I don't give a shit But the picture's the going up. Never mind what the pictures are doing. That's what I'm talking about. I don't I'm care about your scroll bar. I don't even know the scroll bars scroll exist ball. over there. I haven't looked at a scroll bar for years. Well, yeah, I've now. That's why I like the rolly thing on my mouse. That little wheel is great. I don't have to do anything. Well, I used to have a roller thing on my old All I know laptop. is if I pull it back, it goes up. <laughs> this shit got sexy. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to rip the steering wheel out of the car, it's too soft. What the <laughs> hell is he talking about now? Music, <sighs> I think. Uh, I, with Joe, who knows? I think he's gone soft. Okay, let's move along over here. Hinder by request. Coming up next, some Warrant and Harry Pie with the Yankee and the Brit. Lost Generation, she's a bitch with the Yankee and the Brit and the RTM Radio Network. No, Samo, I don't. I haven't heard that. I don't even know if I want to hear it. Is it any good? Ooh, could I have some more of those, please? Fresh oh my God, peaches. My said... God, these things are like they're full of friggin' juice. Ugh, Juiciest oh peaches ever, and it just I just took a bite into one. And then... Um, oh, it was boy, that, they're friggin' awesome. It was that tangy. <laughs> it just, I wish they were bigger, though. It just made me squint. Anyways, uh, Axl Rose sing with ACDC. I hope it's better than it sounds like it's going to be. I do have some here from... Uh, he's singing in Hamburg, Germany. That's what Dave keeps moaning about... Uh, Samo. But I don't know uh, what the hell it's going to sound like. I guess let's just uh, play a tab bit of it here and uh, see what happens anyway, shall we? In fact, let me open it up over here on YouTube, and then we'll see what we got. Oh, excuse me. You have a good time? No! Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Nitwits at your service over here, just rocking the hell out of a Friday night. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out. We love you, Friday. Always nice to have you come around, man. The weekend is here. Memorial Day weekend. I'm sure you all got plans, whether you're going to the beach or going to a, a, a Memorial Day parade. Salute the soldiers. Bless them. Uh, you guys be careful where you're out driving around and having a good time. That's... Uh, the main thing, keep your eyes on the road, keep your eyes on the road, keep your mind on your load and your eyes on the road. How'd that, I screwed that all up, didn't I? Keep your eyes on the road and your mind on your load. And if you're not driving the truck and you're running around your four-wheeler, please put the cell phone down. Let the wife make the calls. Let the kids make the calls. Don't drive and use the phone. I wanted to kill this cunt today, man, I'm telling you. Stupid bitch about got everybody killed. Pulls out onto the freeway. People are running 75, 80 miles an hour, and she comes out on the freeway about 60 Guess what? I had fun with that one. But what a twat. Can't stand it. Put those fucking phones down, mammoth. Man, mother. <laughs> Fuck. 
I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right. So, anyways, we're just rocking around over here. Don't forget, tomorrow night is country night right here with the Yankee and the Brit. Another great night, man. I love country nights. We get the jam. Try to find some new tunes to play. Come in and get your requests in. Uh, grab the old lady and do some serious jamming. That's what it's all about. So, uh, we'll see you then. That's for sure. Tomorrow, Sunday, I mean, it's the Lido Lounge. Sing them that song from the commercial that you're trying to work out. Oh, yeah. Good, good point. Thank you, wife. Does anybody... Now, I'm sure most of you don't live in Oklahoma, but this, or Texoma, around this area anyways, probably anywhere along the borders of Oklahoma even, but there's a song, this Ford commercial, that I hear every day, and I want to know what the damn song is, the song is, and I can't figure it out. I can't find anything. I can't even get a clue. It's a 2016 ad. It's a Ford dealer ad. Uh, Donna and I have searched everything for this. It's one of those missions now, you know, you got to complete it. But it's a Ford commercial, and the guy sings, uh, what does he say? I love the American road. Red, white, and blue, something to that effect. I yeah. can't even remember the tune now. Well, I love the American road, red, white, and blue. It's a country tune. It's got to be a song. They always use all some of the coolest songs. And I've heard that song before somewhere, anyway. So, so if you guys know what that is, man. Let me know so I can get so I can get a copy I of it for the show. I love the you? American road. Red, white, and blue. He says next, but I, I mean, I, like I said, I can't remember the tune. But so someone post it up on the Yankee and the Brit page if you're hearing us, and you know the song. Send it to me in a personal message if you have to. Yankee and the to. Brit page, or yeah, send over as a personal message. But tell us what it bloody well is. It's probably a national Ford ad used for each state. You know, so it probably. What they did is they recut it again, and it says, instead of your Oklahoma Ford dealer, it probably says, like, your Ohio Ford dealer, your Nebraska Ford dealer, your Texas Ford dealer. I'm sure they're all over. Somebody must, I know somebody knows what I'm talking about. i got to find out what that song is. And like I said, I have searched, and Donna searched, and we've looked under 2016 Ford ads. We've searched uh, the lyrics. And the only thing that keeps coming up is that goddamn uh, Toby Keith and his Red, White, and Blue song, and that ain't it. Yeah, and there's another one that comes up. What's his name? Uh, someone Matthews? Dave Matthews, but yeah, that's not that's not a him. rock music anyway, so that's not even the guy. If anybody's got any clue what that song is, please help us out, because I want to know. I want to play it. God damn, I want to figure out what that song is. Audio Slave. This radio station was named Audio Slave in honor of the last American heroes to whom speed means freedom of the soul. The question is not when they're going to stop, but who is going to stop them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me how to live. An audio slave, Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. The Nitwits here, 926, man. Just rocking the shit out of Friday. We have another tune of the Yankee and the Brit to play tomorrow night. Yes, that's right. We have a new tune that we did. We're going to try to spice it up one more time. We weren't real happy with the last one, last uh, take. but It sounded great on the computer, but then we played it on my laptop and we played it on my phone. It sounded really, really tinny and just not very good. So we're going to give it another sing tomorrow, which means I've got to be um, working on my Spanish again. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it sounds, I like it, though. It's a cool song. It's kind of cute, so. I just can't say those words. It's like my mouth just can't say those words. What the hell is, the, what's the line again? I can't remember now. Something puerta. Yeah, puerta. <laughs> I just can't say it, yeah, but it's not the way you say it. <laughs> yeah. That's just funny hearing a Brit try to speak Mexican, that's all. <laughs> yeah. That just gives me that look like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm in a strop now. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we're going gonna, we're gonna to give it another go and maybe play some uh, maracas. La coca crotch rot, I got the crotch rot, and it's crawling up my leg, cha cha cha. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll put that down. <laughs> Make it see what's going down. Oh, Lee, we live by Soundhound, man. I mean, we're riding along, and I tell Donna, put that song on the list. She opens the Soundhound, grabs it off the radio, and bingo. 
Yeah, it's not. So there's a lot of them. We know. We know what the song is. We know who it's by. But we totally, totally forget about it by the time we get home. So I just sand hand it, and then on a Friday night, you know, we're we're thinking, oh, what should I put on tonight? And uh, just hit that sand hand list. Still trying to figure out what that song is, though, man. If anybody knows what the hell that is, um... we might even send you a free Yankee and the Brit radio t-shirt if you can tell us what you know what i will is. we will do that yeah so post we will do it. that so make sure that you post it on the yankee and the brit radio page so that uh we'll send you one with a new group picture on it or anyone you want yeah and any of the rtm radio network shirts if you can tell us what that song is how does it go again i love the american road i love red the white american and blue american road red white and blue i can't get the tune right i can't remember it i have no, to hear it no, again no you don't us I keep leaving it to you because I don't know how it I goes. Can't get but it. I know you're not getting it. I'd have it right to hear either. it again and I would do it. But it definitely does go, I love the American road. I don't know. It's it a country song. Does that. Um, and it's in a brand new Ford uh, commercial. Ford, Oklahoma. Your Ford, Oklahoma. Your Oklahoma Ford dealer commercial. Yeah. So but you, if you're, like I said, it's probably a national ad, so it's probably in other states too playing. Just with different, yes. uh, just with a different narration. So the first person to give us the correct answer on the Yankee and the Brit page will get a free RTM Radio Network shirt. That's right. Woo-woo. So uh, there's a mission for you. Yes. Get out there and figure it out. Because I have no idea. It's driving my friggin' nuts crazy trying to figure it out. Well, anyways, I got this brand new. I don't know if it's new. I don't think it's new. Maybe it is. I don't know. Joe Bonamassa. This train. What a wicked ass tune, man. I had to have a copy of this puppy. Pretty cool, actually. Yes, sir, man. Now that's kicking some ass right there. Joe Bonamassa, this train. I signed up to his page, and he uh, posts a free song every week, I think, or every month, something like that. I forget what it is. But Cinnamon sent me that one. Uh, she knows I like my trains, and uh, she likes Joe jo- Joe Bonamassa. So, uh, old Joe B's kicking ass, man. And that's a great video, too, because he's in the studio singing. And I love to watch uh, videos where they're in the studio singing. I love to watch them making the music, the faces they make when they're singing, like Brad the other day in his new video. <laughs> we'll talk about that tomorrow night. <laughs> we'll talk about that tomorrow night a little bit. That's more country. That's thing. when Brad squeezing that shit out. Well, he was squeezing something out. I'm telling you, man. He made a face like that. That's for sure. Um, I'm gonna have to check that out, Samuel. I don't know what that is. Can I just search it under uh, uh, Bonamassa Zep Melody? I'm gonna have to look and see if I can find that. That sounds like a winner too. I'd like to try it out. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network over here, 934, man. The Nitwits doing our gig tonight, man. We are rocking a house with some serious shit tonight. Another one by Here Comes the Mummies. Tiptoe. Oh, oh, darn, that's awesome. That's really awesome. <laughs> I like it, I like it. That's kick ass, Sammo. Thanks, buddy, for sending it over. We got to get the hell out of here. I had no clue it was that freaking late. I was jamming my ass off over here. Thanks, Friday, for hanging out with us. We love you guys, man. You rock tomorrow night's country night. We'll see you then. You guys uh, take care of yourselves. Do what it is you got to do. Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. Travel safe. Have fun. Go swimming. Barbecue. And don't forget our soldiers. Make sure you at least give them a salute, will you? And watch Doctor Who and get laid. Yeah. That's yeah, of course. Watch Doctor Who and get laid. You can't go wrong with that. (laughs) (laughs) We gotta go. Love you guys. Bye bye. Team Rant, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The The Yankee Yankee and the Brit. Brit. The Yankee Yankee and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spiced. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Before we show you